Hi, how's it going? Hey to everyone in the chat room, aka no one just yet. us, <laughs> aka Brian. I would just like to say uh, thank you to you before anyone else gets here <laughs> for being here. I Should we get like a conversation out of the way yeah. while no one's here yet? Yeah, I just uh, I think I have a UTI. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I really do. Are you okay? Yeah, my tummy kind of hurts, but oh, no, it's okay. I feel like I have to pee, but then. I don't like I go pee and then it's it's just like a drop or two. Really? Yeah. That uh, do you have to go often? Okay, so I was having to go often like last week, like way too much. I was like, wait, why do I have to pee so much? Yeah. And I'm not the type to wake up in the middle of the night and go pee. And I was doing that, and and I think maybe, yeah, maybe I just, that's what's happening. Maybe I just got a UTI. Sorry, TMI. T L I. Um, uh, by the way, what's up, everybody? Sorry, we were just having a private conversation. We didn't know anyone was here. Yeah, we thought we were alone. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up, Jessica? Hey, 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 KJ. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Killer Limelight. Hey, new, 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 what does that say? Num three years. Kanita. I, I know. Yeah. Oh, Monica. Jo uh, Josie two two three Ashley one seven Ileana Lira, Amara Spring Bloom, what's up everybody? Hey Lily, welcome everybody. Welcome to the chat. Everybody, give it up for Chelsea. She's here. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And also, uh, Mr. Charlie Brown is here, running around. Yeah, this is his party trick. Ready? <gasps> yes. Are you ready? Ah! Whoa. That was impressive. That was like instant too. Yeah. Good he boy, knows. Charlie. He knows. He knows. He knows when he's on camera. <laughs> oh my God. This is when's the last time we like streamed or or YouTube together? Streamed probably twenty like early twenty twenty one at the C four house. Yeah. And then filmed together maybe like late twenty twenty one. Wait, no. Yeah. A long time. A long time ago. Well, I, I do remember one. I remember setting off the fire alarm at your apartment. I think that's the last time we streamed. I think. Actually. Yeah, I think I so, too. I thought it was at the C4 house, but maybe not. And that's when you moved in. Yeah. Which was a that at was least. March 2021. It's been a year. Two years. We're in 23. Oh, my God. You moved into that house March 2021. No way. Yeah, I've been there for two years. Oh, shit. We haven't streamed together in two years? Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, I missed you. I just haven't seen you in two years. This is crazy. We're working on our friendship. Yeah, it's going awful. <laughs> <laughs> no. We've been hanging out way too often now. And we were talking on FaceTime last night, and that made me really happy. I, I know. Lo <laughs> I love when we talk on FaceTime late Charlie. at night. Even though we live close by. We do live very close by. Um, okay, so we're doing a mukbang ask us anything here today. And uh, we went to California Chicken Cafe. And so uh, I'm kind of distracted because I'm not able to eat yet. So I, I say we, we dive Let's in. Eat. Okay. Wait, um, question. Yeah. Can I move this like this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go. Um, I got a uh, Chinese chicken salad. What did you get? I got the chicken pasta salad. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is actually my first time having California Chicken Cafe. I think you're going to love it. Joanna B., thank you for subscribing for 13 months. Let's go. Um, Hope you're having a great day. Um, yeah? Yeah, uh, my friend said that's the, <laughs> my friend said that's the best one they have. Your friend is right. <laughs> my friend is great, and I miss him. <laughs> we love your friend. <laughs> we love him. <laughs> we'll see him soon. Yes. Um, yeah, we'll get to that later. <laughs> we will get to all of it. So I posted an Instagram story asking um, people to ask us anything they want to. And um, there were some good questions that came in. And uh, after we get going on this food here, I just need to, you know, make my salad and shake it up. We're going to answer some questions. I also sent the questions to Chelsea, and she said they were all good to go to answer. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Chat, we can, you know, once we get through the Instagram questions, we'll probably resort to you here in the chat. But if you want, go to my Instagram and uh, reply to reply to this story. Ask us anything. And um, we might answer it. 
or we'll answer it as honestly and truthfully as possible. Yes, you should get some food. Absolutely. Eat with us. How are you guys doing today? Well, yeah, how are you? What are you guys up to? Any cool plans for the weekend? Chelsea, do you think you would ever stream again? Mm. Maybe. That's the first question. Ask I you anything. So. No? As of now, no. But I could be convinced. Really? Yeah. What would That's convince you? That's all the time. No, eh, but you can convince me. You're open to it? Yeah. <laughs> I just shook up my salad with this thing in it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> my bad. No wonder it was so loud. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh... I have been back into streaming, and I will just tell you that it's been a lot of fun. Chat, thank you guys for being here and uh, supporting me in my return to Twitch. It's been a blast. Oh, I'm dyeing my hair tomorrow, by the way. Did okay. I tell you that? Um, I, it's, I'm just doing highlights. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will's going to do it with me. Wait, someone's coloring it for you, or he's going to do it for you? No. Oh, my God. No, Will's not going to color my hair. I would yeah. never let that man get anywhere near a bottle of bleach in I'm my head. I'm uh, worried for a little bit. Yeah. Um, no, it's going to be called Breakfast in Bleach. Cute. <laughs> Where are you doing it? Here. Who's doing it? A girl named Molly. Oh, okay. You know her? No. <laughs> I don't know her either. I'm about to meet her tomorrow. Um, what's up, Ad Aditi? How are you? Welcome to the chat. First time. You have a French oral exam tomorrow and you're nervous. Do you, don't you speak French? No, but I was trying to learn, mm. but so long ago, like in 2015, did I tell you that in 2015? I don't think so. Um, my mom took French in, in college, but she forgot it all. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, like, I know Spanish. You know I know Spanish? I don't think I could learn French, honestly. You don't think you could? No. No. Mm. It's awesome, isn't it? You know? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? You know? What? They talk too different, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't do that accent. Puedo hacer un... Oh. Necesitamos... Necesitamos hablar en español hoy. Sí. ¿Quién aquí habla español? Sí. ¿Quién aquí en el chat habla español? Diga. Diga. Díganos. Dinos. Dinos. Yeah. Dinos, por favor. Um, Lira? Lira? Lira habla español. NASA X Online habla español. Tell us what you I would love to go to Ooh. India. Mm. She's from Puerto Rico. I have family in Puerto Rico. Um, I will tell you right now, I have been sleeping on California Chicken Cafe. And it's been down the street this whole time. Are you a new fan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a new fan of you. How much did you say fan in Spanish? Fanatica. Fanatica? I think. That makes sense. Fanatic. Fan. Mm. Okay, well, are you ready for the first question? I don't know if I am. I had to get permission to answer one of them. You had to get from permission from? From my friend. <laughs> oh, I thought you went for me. <laughs> no, no, you were all good. Mm. This is so yummy. It was really good. My allergies are really bad. I have to just dab my nose a little bit. Yeah, do you need anything? I have um, Claritin. I think I'm okay for now. Okay. Maybe in a little bit. Thank you. Okay, just dígame. Dime. Dime si necesitas. See, I'm learning, chat. Estoy escolando, enseñando. Aprendiendo. I never remember that word. You so always say escola, escolando? I, I, I yeah, I That's like think, scholar. Yeah. I always think the wrong word. Can we get fit checks? Lizzo, I got you. Mm. I went to Aritzia for the first time. Ooh, what'd you get? Pants? Yeah, yeah I got these <gasps> pants. Those are tight. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are tight. the shoes from? They're from Adidas. They're um they're the ones that we got. Where's your top from? Oh, this is from Sorel. Across from the Melrose Trading Post. Oh, okay, okay. Um yeah, I really like it. I love it. I love the, the color coordination. Really? Yeah. Do the pants go with the shoes? 
Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though oh, not... there's an earring on the floor. Oh, shoot. Thank you for pointing that out. The rest of it broke off, I think. <laughs> Sad. So, okay. You think that these shoes go well with these pants? I think the style, yes. Just the sil- just because they're gray, I would maybe do like a brown shoe or like a like a darker shoe versus mm. gray, but it looks great. Because the pants are lighter, so a darker shoe. Well, just because they're pop. Mm. Yeah, because okay. you don't have gray or like any cooler colors anywhere else. Oh. So you kind of just want to like balance it. I mean, you can wear whatever you want, but personally, I would just wear No, I need to know those colors. Yeah, I need to know those kinds of things. Yeah. I, I, that's, yeah, please, please always tell me the rules of fashion. I'm no expert, though. You absolutely are an expert. Are you kidding me? Okay, my turn. Yes. Chelsea, what are you wearing? Okay, so I am wearing this tank top from <laughs> Evie, but I cut it to make it really short. And then I got these pants last night at an event. Um, they are a brand jeans, and they're super comfy, and then I'm just wearing... I'm just wearing some Converse. Sick. I also noticed how your shoes match your top. Yeah. You uh, are going by your own rule. I like that. I tend to color block a lot, but anyone can wear what they want. And if they're comfortable, then it works. Yeah. Everybody has their own style, their own fashion. Yeah. And um, thank you for, for telling me what you would do with my outfit. Thank you, Thea. Thea loves both our fits. Thank you. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. This is bomb. Can I try it? Yeah. Can I try it? Yeah. You go first. Okay, okay. Is it spicy? No, not at all. Really? Try it with the chicken. Okay, I'm gonna get two noodles and one piece of chicken. Charlie really wants some. Mmm. This is uh, chicken pasta from California Chicken Cafe. First time. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. This one's really good. I like how creamy it is. How? Oh. Zoe, you made it. I thought you were at work. Hope you're having a good day at work. Zoe. So. Ozzy's dead. Welcome to the chat. Who? Oz. Oz. Oh. Oz, I thought Oz. I thought Ozzy's dad. <laughs> Ozzy's dad. What's up? <laughs> Love your kid, Ozzy. <laughs> hey, Ozzy. Okay. Okay, without any further ado, let's get these questions going. Are you ready? No estoy listo. No estoy. Okay, first question. What is your go-to... This is actually on topic because we were talking about this just a second ago. What's your go-to coffee or drink order? I know mine. These um, days. Coffee, I'll do... Recently, I haven't been able to do hot coffee for some reason. Like... You haven't? Hasn't, no, it Why hasn't not? been agreeing with my tummy. or it, I just, It doesn't sound appetizing, so I've just been making my own coffee at home, which is what I was going to make. And I think it kind of went viral on TikTok. It's like the, um, like the, you froth the, the instant coffee with the sugar, the brown sugar, and then you pour milk and creamer over ice. And it's just so delicious, and it's just frothy and... Um, and very strong. So I've been doing that a lot, a lot. I feel like maybe the the frothiness takes away from the acidity, so maybe it's easier on your stomach. Yeah, I think that's what it is because it's. It, I guess it hasn't just been hot coffee that I haven't been drinking. It's also iced coffee, just regular like the 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 liquid, like the just how liquidy it is. Mm. So I think that I think you're right. It's like the mm-hmm. frothiness that that's been super appealing. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, my mom does that too. So Yeah, whipped coffee. Well, Vanessa. whipped coffee. Yeah. Oh, I've actually never heard that term. Me either. All right, well, Chelsea whips her coffee. Good <laughs> shit. My my go-to order lately, I just had it yesterday. You know what I'm going to say? You know what I'm going to say. We just had it recently. Mm-hmm. 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 The ice matcha? Matcha. Mm-hmm. With the coconut? Yeah. Yeah? Well, except I ordered a... Um, Coconut iced matcha latte yesterday. And then one, it didn't come out. And then two, I had to remind them. And then three, they put almond milk instead. Yeah, I was pissed. 
I was pissed. Starbucks, I love you, but you fucked up. <laughs> What's up, Emma? What's up? You are the best. I love when first time chatters come through. What's up? Chilling. Rhino's world. Um, whose dog is that? Do you see that at the bottom? Rhino's world dog. Is that is that your dog, Rhino's world? Um. I saw a black lab this morning. Really? On my walk with Charlie, and it's like this magnetic energy that I have towards black labs. I just felt pulled towards it. Mm -hmm. I was like, Charlie, let's go look at this dog. I didn't know who the owner was. Um, the owner was washing his car, and I was walking really close, hoping that the, the owner would be like, oh, he's friendly. You can come pet him. And sure enough, he was like, oh, he's friendly if you want to say hi. I was like, oh, can I? He's like, of course. <laughs> so Charlie and I said hi to, to him. His name was Sterling. Oh. He was so beautiful. He was seven years old. Really? Yeah. Oh. I know. It was so cute. I do love when you see black labs because I do I do see you have a, a visceral reaction and connection to them because He's you you have loved one before. Mm -hmm. And I feel like another black lab, like that's a relative. Oh, yeah. I feel like I know them. Mm-hmm. And I bet you they know you too. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Let's see. Next question, um, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a fashion journalist. Oh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is kind of what you are. Um, now that I think about it. Yeah, I well, it started because I wanted to, or I was super infatuated by models, um, specifically at one point, before I knew what the model industry was. And then from there, I started like getting into the fashion industry and, and fashion designers and fashion shows. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And then I wanted to write about it. And then I went to school for it. And um, I was able to, you know, try different sides of the fashion industry and figure out what I like. But yeah, I initially wanted to become a fashion journalist. Was there a specific model that you looked up to like first or one that really inspired you? Um. Miranda Kerr has always one, been one of my favorites. Um, but there's this also this, I think she's Dutch. And I don't want to, like, mess up her name. But I think her name is, like, Brecky Hainan. And back in the day, I was just obsessed with her. And I just couldn't believe that people could be so beautiful and then get paid for it. Mm. So I was, I was so infatuated with the, the idea. And I think that's what caught my eye. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, those two models, I was like, I actually met Miranda Kerr. Where? Um, it was like a, God, I was such a fangirl. Um, <laughs> I went to a, what's it called? Like a meetup? Meet and greet? Mm. Yeah, a meet and greet. Um, yeah. I did that maybe three times where I, I went to meet like Victoria's Secret models. Like I skipped class to go meet them. No way. Yeah. And like take a picture and take a selfie. Um, yeah, take yeah. take pictures. Yeah. Cool. Um, what did I be want to be when I grew up? Honestly, I do remember telling people when I was a kid that when I grew up I wanted to be a frog. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, dead ass. So um, like, what made you want to become a frog? Um. What made you want to? Here, wait, I need to answer this. Hey, bruv. Yo, have you, have you no, I haven't. We're streaming. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hi. Hola. Hola. Hi, Charles. What's good? Oh. Uh, Danny's gone. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody, check it out. It's Papa Justin. Hi. I came oh. to say hi. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, JC, welcome to the chat. Chat saying what's up. W's in the chat for JC, everybody. Hello. He licked mm. in my mouth just now. Charlie. Charlie, you're so excited I get it. Thank you. Oh, it's his blessed kisses. Yes, happy birthday. It's his, it's his blessed day. Happy birthday, Charlie. Is it really? Have you had this? It smells like, it smells Bad? Like, like what? 
It, I'm sure it's amazing, but the smell isn't great. Okay. Yes. Really? I think so, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Chat, yeah. I swear to God, this food is good. Chicken, no, no, a chicken has a there. smell. Chicken has a smell. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Yeah, cold chicken. Have you ever had California chicken? Yes, Cafe? it's the best. You would have it every really? day when we first started dating. Oh my. Yeah, this is my Let's first go. time. Hug. I've been sleeping. Hug. Yes. Ow! Bruh. Charlie, chill. How's his dad? Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Charlie. With Prime. Charlie, thank you for the love. For you, Charlie. Charlie, put your tongue in his mouth. The snack is ready. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Whenever. In the frozen one? Yeah. Do you want to give it to him or do you want to wait till you give it to him? Um, I'll wait. Okay, what are you doing? I'm going to work on some other stuff. Okay, I miss you. Let's go. You Let's hang out after you hang out with this dork. Yeah, I'm a dork, baby. What's good? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, wait, do you want to go to the gym? Are you still down? Oh, me? Yeah, no pressure. Oh, um, I don't have workout clothes. Oh. Sorry, but you, you okay. can go. You can go. I, well, I I'm gonna go later. Oh, okay. yeah, I know. yeah, I'm yeah, fine. I have to go later. But I yeah, no, I am um, three. three. You can't. You have to stream. Huh? You have to, don't you have to stream at five? Yeah. Get shit ready. Yeah. Dope. We'll see what's up. Well, uh, we'll see you, what's up. Do you want to take Charlie out there so we can play? Okay. Bye, Charlie. Happy Thank birthday. You. Bye, JC. Happy birthday. Okay, have fun kissing Charlie. Oh. Bambi, I'm mad at Bambi right now. Hi, I'm not talking to her. Bambi, let's go. Hi, mm -mm. Mama. Um, what happened with Bambi? Oh, boy, See, this is what happened with Bambi. Boy, this is exactly what happened with Bambi last night. You're stinky, girl. I was at Starbucks last night working. Starbucks closed. I'm about to leave. Guy behind the counter goes, hey, do you want some of our pastries? And I was like, Hell yeah. He's like, which one? I was like, well, I have like four dude roommates, so anything you don't want, I'll take. Mm -hmm. He gives me three muffins, three pieces of banana bread, three bagels, three cake pops. What? Do you want a cake pop? Uh, later. Okay. Um, okay. and Let's go. Come on. no, Bambi's not innocent, Jessica, because I will tell you why. Me and Andy go on a little outing for like literally 10 minutes. Come back. This is at like 10 p.m. last night. And, excuse me, come back. I had put all those pastries on the counter. And I come back and I'm like, we were, we were literally talking about how we were excited to eat some of the banana bread when we got back. She ate it? All three pieces. <laughs> she pulled all three pieces in their wrappers off of the counter, brought them over to in front of the couch on the rug, of course, <laughs> opened them somehow, like as if she has detachable thumbs. Like, perfectly open these wrappers. Are we sure it was Bambi and it wasn't her dad? She was still fucking eating it. She was still eating this banana bread on the ground. And we were like, no, like, no, Bambi, no. Seriously, I was, I, w I wouldn't have been upset if she would just eaten, like, the bagels or something. But she knew what the best pastry was out of all of those. Wow. She fucking knew. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not on speaking terms right now. Well, who was supervising her? Uh... Her uh, daddy should have been. Yeah, her dad, her dad was playing Fortnite. <laughs> kind of been her. <laughs> Retention gone. JC probably set her up. <laughs> no. That girl was on the ground still snacking on the crumbs as I was vacuuming. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Bambi. She was probably so hungry. And at the same time, we realized that our garbage didn't get picked up last night. Guess why? Why? Because there was a motorcycle in front of it. Guess who's? Rex? Yes, motherfucking Rex! Rex motorcycle! Now we have a trash can full of trash. For a whole nother week. For a whole nother week. Wait. Oh, because he's out of town? Uh, no, he's sitting in our kitchen. <laughs> Wait. Yes. So. He parked there. What time does the trash come? Mm, like in the morning, like right? nine. Right? Why, why, why was he here so early? I think because we went to the gym yesterday morning. Oh. So we parked it. And then, yeah, mother freaking wreck. And <laughs> I feel kind of bad, though, because I don't usually, like, like get really mad. And I wasn't actually really mad. But, you know, I'm like, wreck, what the fuck? And then he was on the phone. And me and Andy were talking to him on the phone. And he, like, actually felt really bad about it. 
He's like, I, he's like, I, I'm so sorry. Like, I always do this. I, I didn't mean to. And I'm just like, bro, just like, I'm obviously not actually mad at you. Yeah. Everything's fine. But he did promise to get rid of it today, but I think oh, it's still out there. How do you do that? Um, He said he would go dump it, but I was like, bro, you're not going to do that. Do you guys have two trash cans or one? There's one. Yeah. I feel two. like you guys should have two. Yeah, I agree. We have two recycling. Okay, next question. That was fun. Um, ooh, let's see. Are there any? Uh, oh, Rick is in here. Rick! Well, oh, probably because you heard me yelling at him. Rick, you motherfucker, get in here. <laughs> get your ass in here, Rick. We're going to hold you accountable. Rick is going to come pick it up. Wait, c come pick up all the trash with the little backpack. Dude, Rick, what the fuck, bro? Cook, this bro. place is not a dump. Cook. cook, cook for us. I will, I will fix this. Trust, trust. I will fix this. Give me a day. Give me a day. I will fix this. I promise. <laughs> this is gonna be a very trashy day for me then. Let me cook. I've made it my side mission to to fix this. You know, in video games, whenever you have like side quests, like in the side. Yeah. This is my side quest, and I will fix this. Okay. Let well, I believe bro. Him. Okay, you better get cooking. Let me know if you need a spatula or anything, cause that trash is stinky. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> have fun on your side quest. Um. Okay, let's see. Wait, you wow. didn't like that? No, actually, I put the other one on. There was two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, I don't need that much dressing on my salads. I like vegetables. Wait, that's not dressing, though. Oh, it's not? No, it's a... Uh, oh, shoot. A, oh, I thought yeah. it was dressing. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, Chad, I'm sorry. I've been denying you of <laughs> living vicariously through me through a full chicken Chinese chicken salad. I forgot my mandarin oranges. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get some paper towels. Okay. Uh, I'm great. Thank right, you. Right I have to take my shoes off because I just wanted to make myself a little more comfortable. I feel like I'm on a podcast. And also, these mics make me want to do ASMR. Oh, hi, baby. Hello, Tinkers. Hello, Tinkers. Oh my no, I miss you so much. I haven't seen you in a whole week. Okay. Okay, mamas. Okay, go outside. Okay. Go outside. Okay. Charlie, come here. Bambi, come here. Go, go with Casey. Go with Casey. Come on. Come on, everybody. Oh, I know. Come you on. just love me so come much. On. I know. Come on. Come on. Good Thank boy, you. Barry. Bambi, come here. She's like, no, this is where the food's at. Bambi, we know you, you love food. Eat. It's yucky. Oh, yeah. you, you're not gonna like it. I mean, I mean, they, should I put them out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Bambi, come on. Go, go, Mama. Go, go, go. Come on. Bambi, let's go. Good girl. Oh, it's not the boots you want. It's you. Yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea is every dog's favorite. <laughs> Chelsea is every dog's favorite. Except I will say, I will say, there's a close second for Barry, at least. Your friend? Yeah, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just. Should I we think I'm gonna fight him <laughs> for Barry's attention. I honestly, I almost have a few times. <laughs> I get jealous. Um. Yeah. Okay. So there's another question. Yeah. Here, I'll show it to you first. Okay. La, 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 you guys, la. these are also so effing good. Mm. I was gonna make some coffee when I got here, but I forgot my instant coffee. Mm. Okay. So. This is fun. I love having these microphones because I feel like we're just podcasting. I know. That's what I just said. Woo! Okay. Um, how about this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you read it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys plan on being parents in the future? You go first. Okay. Um, honestly, I've been thinking a lot about this. Because I've always felt like I would be a dad, mm -hmm. you know? And I guess it depends on... Um, oh, I think maybe you need to be a little closer to this. Hello? Is that better? Is that better, chat? Chelsea's my favorite too, Jody. Um, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I have always figured that I would eventually have kids. But kind of lately, I've been questioning it, you know? Like you or you're maybe like mm, maybe that's not like yeah maybe like maybe I won't yeah yeah because my friend wasn't sure about it and then I was like my brother and sister have kids and like 
you know, when I'm around them, I, I feel like I'm a part of their coming up, even though I don't see them as much as I'd like to because they're in Oregon. But then again, I mean, I talked to my friend. <laughs> we talked about it. You did? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and I kind of told him, like, you know, even though – here's the thing. Does he want kids? No. Okay. Well, he hadn't for a long time. Okay. And then he uh, – we talked about it, and I basically was just saying, you know, yeah, when you have kids, of course, the you're raising the kids – for a, a very extended, a long period of time, and you have to deal with like sleepless nights, with them getting sick, with them treating you like shit in their teen years, literally after you wiped their shit, and it can be almost like it, it's like so much and takes away from so many other things you can do with your life. But then, like one, it's also very re rewarding during that time, and then two, after that, you have these adult, cool young friends. Who love you and take care of you and hang out with you the rest of your life. Yeah. And totally. he, yeah, he was like, I've never thought about it like that. Yeah. Honestly, I think about that too, because for a long time I didn't want to have kids, but that's when I was in my like early twenties. Um, and I was very selfish and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't think I want to. But then when I got with JC, like, seven years ago and he was like wait you don't want kids and we're gonna have to talk about it because i want kids eventually and i was like i was like wait hold on let me think about it what are the pros what are the cons but it, i didn't really understand it until i started having nieces and nephews mm. um and my nieces and nephews are my my cousin's kids but i call them my nieces and nephews because we're very close but yeah so once i started I started seeing them more and being around them more. That's when I was like, wait, this is kind of cute. And I kind of do see myself having. Hello. Oh, my God. Sorry, Speak of the devil. That. Oh, it's not here. Um, oh. Hi, call JC's phone. Come on. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Come on. Baby. Hello, mama. I'm calling Hello. you. Hello. Oh. Um, we, oh. were, we were not just talking about you. We no, weren't. we weren't. We were talking about our kids, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Chelsea's kids, not your kids. <laughs> Charlie! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bambi, I'm still mad at you. You're not allowed in here. She no, just she doesn't move. She won't move. The food is yeah. not bad. Chelsea, I mean, freaking Bambi, Bambi, go. you have a problem. <laughs> Bambi, you do have a problem. Go, go. Come on. Bye bye. She's so hard to move. She's like a rock. She literally she uses her weight to stay where she wants to be. Yeah. Um, which she has more of now because she ate all my banana bread. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, sorry. I don't know if you were done. Oh. Uh, yeah. The question I have for you was, what was it about meeting your nieces and nephews that made you? You said it helped you understand it. What does that mean? Yeah. Um, that's a great question. Let me think about it. Well. Yeah, I think like seeing my cousins holding them and just like caring for them. And I have that like I there's a side of me that's very like like um, like giving and caring. But, but I give that all to Charlie and I know that I would be a great mom. And so I think that's that's kind of like made me change my mind about it. And also, I think after JC and I broke up for a little bit and when I realized like, wait, I don't think we should have broken up. Like we need, you know, whatever. I wanted everything with him, like never wanted to get married, but I want to get married to him. Never wanted to have kids, but I want to have kids with him. And mm. I think that also like really morphed my mind. Mm. Falling in love. Yeah. 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 I feel that too. Yo, Brandon, thank you for subscribing. What's up, bro? Nice to see you. It was nice to see you at a uh, soccer the other day. Sorry, everything ended when uh, <laughs> when you got there, but you were late. To be fair, you know Brandon. Who? Brandon can name. Brandon, tall Brandon. He's at all of our parties. Olivia, thank you for the gifted oh. sub. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes. Yes, Brandon, we love you. Um. Okay. Let's see. Well, that's a good question. Okay, Janie. Janie asked, and a few others asked, and although we've answered this question a few times before. How did we meet? So, <laughs> my friend Haley invited me to her birthday dinner one night in August. 
and I was sat across the table from Brian and we bonded over the fact that I went to the Art Institute and he worked at the Art Institute as an RA. So we bonded all night about it and then we just kind of like talked all night and stayed in touch after that and we've we've remained friends yeah and then and then um well what i remember about that night is it was my first night going out with Devin and Haley. my first time going to a club my first time going to a place like fig and olive which is r.i.p now closed because of covid thank you covid um and that was our spot and then um I just remember I was there and like I was like talking to people and stuff and then but it wasn't until you came across the table from me and we were like making eye contact and like asking each other questions and you were just like giving me that look where you're like, yeah, yeah. It's like this smile that Chelsea has where it's like it's like a connection and we connected. Yes. And uh, and I was like, I want to hang out with this person more than anyone else here. Mm -hmm. And that was 2016 yeah yeah which is coming up on seven, seven years, years ago yeah. and um it's then crazy. Haley, by the way Haley from the last season of reality house if anyone remembers Haley her. Bo Haley shout Bo out yes Haley, we love you thank you for bringing us together um and then Haley and chelsea moved in down the hall from me and Haley's boyfriend moved in with me and we were just like, I, I would go to my full-time job every day. And then every day I would like hang out with y'all. That is so crazy. And I used to water your plants when yeah. you would go out of town. Yeah. We were just like an episode of Friends. It was. It really was. Which it's such a different time of life. It doesn't feel like that long ago. But I, you know, had no idea that it would like lead to such a long and important an amazing friendship in my life. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you never know, y'all. <laughs> so crazy. Okay. Speaking of, uh, I would like for you to compliment me. What's one of y'all's favorite things about each other? Tell me. Okay. Um, my butt. I know. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've told me your exercises and I've tried to stick to them. Like, you've, you showed me one once and I was like, wait, which, I'm trying to do that. Which the one, one where... Um, you're like, oh, there you go. You're, you're, you're kind of. There's a stool, and then. Sorry to interrupt your segment yet again. Oh my god. Red had my phone the entire time. You tell me. Dude. Red. Yeah, he said you, you answered. I answered. That's oh, just, what? Yeah. No, he answered probably, but it was just sitting on my desk. Oh, he he, he was like, I called y'all. No. No, and then I he answered, and I was like, hey, you have JC's phone. Don't tell him you have it. Wait, <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm confused. confused. I'm confused as hell, too. But I was looking for my phone frantically for the past 15 minutes. I'll, yeah, I was like, where the I had no was idea. Phone? I was like, there's no way it just disappeared. I was like, I remember setting it on the counter. Why did Rec have it? Man's was already at it's the gym. It's Rec's fault. <laughs> he had to turn around. <laughs> Bring it back? Yeah, he was like... <laughs> I'm like, bro, I was looking for this. It was in his He's pocket. Like, I, told Brian I had it. I was like, what? No. <laughs> then why would you still leave why, with it? Why would he still take it? No, I, no, no, no. He said he called you, or he said you when you called my phone, he picked up. Oh, but and then you, you had the phone down. It was you, just on the desk. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I guess yeah. He's like, I was like, what? He's like, yeah. I told Brian I'm on my way back. I was like, huh? Oh, but I wasn't responding to him. I didn't hear. Dude, Red keeps fucking up around here. Rack is just taking phones and making us. I, I, I can write dead ass a list of like the stuff he does. And it's just like, bro, what's going on with you? Pay a little bit more attention. Parked his motorcycle in front of our trash can. The trash didn't get picked up. So we have a full so trash can. can. Yeah. This. It'll be another you need game. to pick him out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't live here. Yeah, what the fuck? He doesn't even live here. He's fucking us up. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Rack, we love you. I'll let you cook, but please stop stealing phones. We're and just kidding, Rack. Yeah, we're just kidding, Rack. Look. Okay, now I was going to show you the workout that you showed me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you lift your leg like this, and it's kind of like a squat, mm. and you touch your butt on the, on the chair. 
I you ta taught me that. I taught you that? Yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah, in 2020. Holy shit. You were like, do this and you'll get a bubbly butt like mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's called a pistol. Really? Yes, and it's actually very difficult. So Yeah, it's really hard. Kudos to you. You want to know what Ayla taught me? What did she teach you, though? Okay, so if you have two dumbbells here, or just no, or just body weight, um, and this is what Ayla does, so you know it's good. So you go one like this, okay? And then you do, you don't have to step these, but I just didn't have room. So you, and then you do this, and then you go like this. Oh. And you get every corner of that booty <gasps> cheek. Whoa. It burns. And then you have to do the other side. That looks satisfying. Yeah. Like I'm scratching an itch somewhere like on in my glutes. Yeah. You you felt like uh yeah. relief. Yeah. Cuz it it really does feel like you cover the whole thing. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I fucking love you. Okay. Okay, no way. I have to compliment you. I have to compliment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh, okay. duh, duh. So, duh. one of my favorite things about Brian is his creativity. <laughs> I think he's really creative and he always finds different ways to do things like work or videos or streams you're always looking for like new ways mm. and even e with e like anything and everything like like your wardrobe you're always trying to get creative or like um uh, like what else what else like gifts you're always trying to get creative like you're always thinking outside the box and i love that about you oh my god thank you why did that make me tear up brian that means a lot okay. Yeah, like don't make me cry. I'm a little sensitive today. So. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I guess so. So are you? <laughs> <laughs> that was so nice. Oh, I love you. I love you too. I didn't mean to make you cry. No, it's a good. But cry. I'm sure. I'm sure they see it too. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that means a lot to me because I do feel intensely creative. But you know, I've had some setbacks in the last couple of years, and it completely stifled my creativity and um yeah now in the just in the last few weeks it's it's really returned and um and you know for that for you to to see that and call it out and be the first thing you even think of you know that that means a lot i feel i feel like i'm coming into a new era so yeah thank you for recognizing that of course yes um, okay, what I love about Chelsea, one thing I love about Chelsea is she is, she stands firm, okay? Chelsea is strong, and Chelsea knows who she is, knows what she wants, knows what she likes, and knows what she doesn't like, and will say no, and will say, I don't like that, will call people out, <laughs> will, you know what I'm saying? You'll be like, um, like, we were, ta we were on a walk last week, and... And I was talking about a situation in my life. <laughs> and then we were at one side of the street and I said something. And then we got to the other side of the street and I said a, a different thing. And you're like, but see, you just contradicted yourself. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. I've, I, I, I'm, I need that. Yeah. You know, because otherwise stuff just kind of swirls around in my head. Mm -hmm. And then I, I say it to you and you hear it all. You actually listen and you like respond to it with a, uh, level-headed you know very well informed about me answer and to be able to say you know you could just say okay yeah i hear you whatever but then you're you're able to say like no you just said the opposite back there <laughs> like you can't have both yeah. and now i'm getting now i'm like getting on a tangent but like that meant a lot to me because i do always try to get the best of both worlds yeah. but it doesn't really always exist. Yeah, no, I totally get it. I feel like I'm, I can be like that as well. And I can be very, pa like, if, if I, I could have also dismissed what you were saying and been like, okay, if that's what you want to do. But I, I'm starting to do that more with like people close to me mm. just because I think that th they need it, you know? As long as it's someone that's ve I'm comfortable with, I feel comfortable enough to call them out and be like, okay, you need to be told this, right? So I'm also starting to do that with like the people around me as well. So do you feel like you picked up that skill um, partially because of therapy? Uh, yeah, actually. Right? Yeah, totally. Because my therapist would always tell me, like, call it out. If you if you have a question or if you're not OK with something, if you don't like it, 
or if someone's making you feel a certain type of way, like call it out then and there. Mm. Especially for me because I struggle with, say something happens right now, you, you tell me something and I get upset and then I don't bring it up and then later I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll bring it up now. It's a better timing. I wouldn't be able to call it out because I can't put myself back in those feelings or those emotions. Mm. And I, I really, I, I couldn't. So I've learned to just really call things out in the moment. And it's done wonders really? for me because um, I just don't feel like I have any pent up like mm. emotions or anger or confusion personally. But because right then in that moment you addressed it and you dealt with it and then you can move on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's inspiring. I uh, need to do that more. And yeah, I think that like in recent recently. I, I've neglected doing that and I've had to watch other people do it, watch you do it to realize, to relearn how to do it and hopefully apply that to my own behavior. Yeah, totally. Because you're right. If you don't call stuff out immediately, it kind of just like it festers and you think about it and you wonder what they meant by that. And it could be they meant something completely harmless, but like it felt a certain way yeah and so then you say something in the moment get clarification on it and it's it's all good totally all right um what's your biggest dick <laughs> what's my biggest ick <laughs> yeah oh my god i thought you said something completely different <laughs> what's your biggest dick <laughs> <laughs> what's biggest? the biggest dick you've ever had <laughs> i was gonna say something but i won't um biggest ick Biggest space ick chat. Biggest I C K. Yeah. In general, um, ooh. if you have yours, you can go ahead and say. Oh, okay. It's just in general, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. My my biggest dick was like three years ago. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> biggest ick. Okay. <laughs> it's like y'all are. Dirty. Yeah, come on, chat. Biggest ick, like biggest thing that disgusts me about, or like it's a, it's a turnoff. Essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. A turnoff. Mm. That's a good question. That you could well, the biggest ick isn't really an ick, but <laughs> um, <Wait, what? laughs> um, a turnoff for me. Oh, I know one. I definitely know one. It actually. Um, happened yeah it's it's happened a few times so if I'm in a relationship with someone or I'm dating someone and we're involved and you know at whatever level if an issue arises <clears throat> and a person can't maturely communicate through it I'm like I'm like then this isn't gonna work like I can't I can't wonder how you're going to react to different issues that come up for the rest of my life mm. if if it's like you know you can't like just talk to me about it and so my friend my current friend <laughs> <laughs> is so good at just like talking through whatever yeah you know so so lack lack in communication yeah that's like for sure an ick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and totally and yeah, and and just like being able to say like I don't know, yeah, saying saying what you mean in the moment, yeah, kind of like what we were just talking about. Yeah, that's my biggest dick. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good one. Um, ugh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if I have a specific one, but bad hygiene or like I don't know if someone just if they don't brush their teeth at least three times a day, like I need you to, that's a requirement. Brush your teeth three times a day. If I'm dating you, <clears throat> Excuse I'm dating me. you. <laughs> that really stressed yeah. me out. <laughs> if I'm dating you, please put her <laughs> Um, yeah, just smell good. If you don't smell good, it's just not going to work. Mm. Oh, as Meralda says, people chewing with their mouth open. Yeah, I hate that too, Esmeralda. Turn it off. Yeah. Biggest dick. Yeah, that's disgusting. I hate that shit. Mm. 
Someone yeah. said my ex would make everything a joke and it was so gross. Yeah, I get that. Like never serious. You don't know when to take him seriously. Mm. I, um, that is a good one. Yeah, chat. What's your biggest dicks? I uh, have a friend who. Um, <laughs> it's so hard to say that without a straight face. I have a friend who was dating someone who ironically she referred to as BDL. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His name starts with an L, but she called him BDL. Chad, I'll leave that up for, you know, your interpretation. interpretation. <laughs> um, as we talk about biggest dicks. Uh, her ick with him was, uh, yeah, he like, she would try to have a serious conversation with him and it just would like, he'd be like, what? I don't know. Yeah. How? I don't know how to, I don't know how to <gasps> respond to that with that serious question. Wait. Another ick is when a guy is just like overprotective like worse than a dad um i was kind of seeing this guy once and we went out to a bar and another guy started talking to me like striking a conversation and the dude that i was dating he like comes in between and he just with his arms like this and then starts asking the guy like what what do you have to like what do you what are you talking to her about and the guy's like oh nothing like i just asked her what drink she was getting whatever and I was like, ew, I don't need you to bodyguard me like that. Like, it's just not necessary. She might be small, but she's mighty and she can stand up for herself. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can hold my own. That's like another thing, too. It's like, I don't need you to come and save me. Like, I get it. I get it. He was trying to be nice. But I think he was just doing it for himself to yeah. make himself feel good. And that was just like icky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I think maybe there was some insecurity there. Okay, so Alyssa says, my ex would smell good, but he never wanted to wear cologne, and it bothered me so much. Like, why didn't you want to smell nicer? Great Ooh, question. yeah. You know what? I know, uh, I don't know. Maybe I do know some people that are always like, oh, I don't care to get ready, um, or I don't care to do this, do that. But sometimes, if I'm, like, if you're in a relationship, Maybe it doesn't hurt to get ready for your partner or like smell good for your partner or brush your teeth three times a day for your partner if mm. that's what she likes. Or like for me, I, JC is so like l low maintenance and so am I when it comes to each other. But like if I don't see him for a while, for a week, like I'll still get ready when I go see him, even if we're just laying on the couch because like I want to look good for you. Um, I don't know. Like I feel like some people obviously – as long as you're comfortable, but like when you're in a relationship, you have to think about the other person. Too. Yeah. Like, wear cologne. Yeah. And like, like you would wear cologne for people that you never see to when you're going to a party or something. Unless it's like a personal thing where I know a lot of people don't like to wear perfumes and colognes because of like the chemicals and stuff. But then say that, you know. Yeah. Just say it and Let smell bad. Let know. Um, yeah. I, I like getting ready for, for the person I'm dating because... You know, that should be the the person, well, not always, but, you know, there's times when you, know, you wake up and you have no makeup on or whatever, since I wear so much makeup. But, uh, yeah, like, yeah, you know, you're going on a date, you're going to, like, go out together, you're, even if you're going to just go see them that night, it's nice to be like, okay, I'm going to get really clean, I'm going to, like, shave, I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to wear a nice outfit, just for them. Like, yeah. you know, because, I don't know, there's something about just giving i don't know like putting in the effort yes like, like you're not just gonna go hang out with your neighbor like your neighbor or your mom mm -hmm. i mean again it depends it, it depends on the situation but i'm just i'm talking about like i don't know at least trying yeah 100 percent. you don't have to get all dolled up but smell you know good at least smell good yes yeah the hygiene one is a big one yeah. <clears throat> uh mine is wreck taking jc's phone and parking his motorcycle in front of the trash <laughs> When doesn't when someone doesn't support your wins or successes and instead tries to one up you? Yes, that's a big one. Wait, someone said pillow covered in makeup. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. Does that happen a lot? Um, sometimes. Honestly, even when I wash my face at night, well, it happens on a 
it happens after a night out like maybe i just won't get my neck or something and then i'll lay down and then i wake up with makeup stains but i will wash that shit quick mm. but also i try to get everything off so if there's multiple makeup stains on the pillow that can be a little icky i get it i can attest to that that she does try to get everything off because i was literally on the phone with her last night and she was taking off her makeup so <laughs> cheers to you telling the truth <laughs> Okay, what is your favorite thing about living in the beautiful city of R Los Angeles? Mm. Uh, Same. <laughs> I'm like uh, crickets. I love that I'm very close to my family, so I get to see them every weekend. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite part, but I also like being so central to the snow, to the beach, um literally growing up i grew up in like orange county area but in a weekend you can literally drive down to huntington beach like 45 minutes to an hour to huntington beach one day and then the next day you could drive 45 minutes to an hour up north and go to the snow and like do it all yeah in a weekend yeah um so i love being central to a lot of like the desert um coachella coachella palm desert joshua tree yeah we've been all over Mm -hmm. We've been where we've we been around here. We've been to San Diego. We've been to Joshua Tree. We've been to Coachella. We've been to Malibu many many times. We've been to Encino. Yeah, we've been to uh, we've been to San Clemente. When did we go there? When we stayed for Corey's thing. Oh yeah, yeah. We've yeah. been in Laguna Beach when we went to the beach that one time. With in twenty twenty um, summer, I was wearing the red bikini. Oh yeah, with like Dill and them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you flipped off the camera. Maybe. Okay, I'm pulling it up. <laughs> this is an epic video of you on the beach flipping off the camera. It's on the C4 account. Oh, that, yes. 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 I, I don't know if it's on the C4 account anymore, but. You don't? <laughs> You're like, uh, our time. Oh, my God. I was so cute. You Ooh, was, I was? Too tiny, though. You, you are still, like, just as cute. Are you kidding me? You were so cute. Don't even say that about my friend. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yes, I do remember that. Oh my god. It's like a commercial. Your chonies fell off. You oh. lost them in, in the water. They fell off. Yeah. I was with all Wait. these hot guys and my you chonies guys. fell off. You guys, Brian was in the in like deep in the ocean and you, what you took them off? You took off your No, he was wearing his speedo under his trunks. And he took off his trunks mm. to just wear his speedo, and he was like swinging it around. He was spinning his trunks around, <laughs> and then he lost the trunks somewhere <laughs> in the ocean, yeah. and he had to run out in his speedo. But he was so shy about it. Yeah. I remember that. But then we took pictures. Yeah, and the lifeguard was. What was the lifeguard saying? Mm, nice jock. I mean, nice what? <laughs> I I think I you're don't like oh the the. The beach is closing, or you're too far. I, something. Oh, he was talking about his biggest ick. Yeah, <laughs> and Brian was like stressed out, running out of the ocean with his speedo. It was <laughs> so funny. I nearly peed my pants. That was like the first time I had really been out. One of the first times I've been out in my speedo. Especially, I've been in my speedo with you, and I think you, you, and maybe like you know Callie and Julia. Yeah. I've been in my speedo, but not with like I like. Will, with like Jay Z and Will and Dill, <laughs> like, and I just was getting to know them. Wait, I think I have <laughs> the video football? of you running back, really, from the water in your speedo. Oh my God, we got some good content of each other that day. Oh wait, that was twenty twenty. That was twenty twenty. That was probably like August of Bainty Bainty. I think it was yeah, because I had just gone back. Because I moved in in July. Maybe it was July. Maybe it was August. Maybe it was September. And yeah, I was just, you know, running around in my speedos. <laughs> Cute. It was. Oh, wait, was it here? No. Okay. La pregunta que viene después de este. Or I'll ask it, I'll ask it where you're looking. Go to drink, coffee. Do you guys plan? When, how did you meet? Biggest ick, favorite thing about LA. Oh, I didn't say my thing about LA. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. My. Uh, current. Well, okay. I like that LA has a bunch of creative people who are chasing their dreams, and everybody can kind of like help each other do so. I love that. Um, 
But currently, my favorite thing about LA is that it's been so rainy because I actually like it. I've been living here for 14 years. I grew up in Portland. It kind of feels like home when it rains. And I also recognize that we are always in a drought. Everyone's always worried about the drought, 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 drought. But this rain has been going on so long, more rain than I've seen in like the 14 years I've been here. It's like clearing up the whole drought. And it's good for us. And it's turning the hills green. And um, I'm about it. I like that about this city right now. I can't find the video. Ah, uh, well, that's okay. I guess I um, I guess they just won't see me in a speedo today. Y'all just have to take my word for it. I could just put it on right now and reenact it. <laughs> you still have it? Hang yeah, hell yeah, I still have Hank the speedo, but I can't use that account anymore because my freaking brother named his son Hank. After his speedo. Yeah, so how am I supposed to keep having a speedo named Hank? That's just weird. You have to change the name. To what? Shank. Okay, I like that. Just add the S. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hopefully no one will notice. Don't tell Don't tell anyone. Please don't put it online. Don't tell anyone. Okay. How did you and Chelsea meet and how long have you been friends? Seven years. Um, ooh, I got a good one for you. Yeah. From Miss Abby O. What's your goal for this year? And we're like, what's that? Um, I just exist. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually talked about it with my therapist. It's really hard for me to put myself that far in advance. I can't even really think about next week, if I'm being honest. So thinking about a goal is really hard for me. Um, but um, just maybe just be more consistent with like YouTube or start reselling and be consistent with that that's as far as i can yeah i can think of yeah as far as a goal that's great yeah um for now at least <clears throat> yeah for this year i have like long-term goals but like okay what are some of those um i eventually want to well once i get back into reselling i want to be able to travel and curate pieces from like all over all over the US or like even travel overseas and curate pieces but I want like I want a space to hold those pieces mm. not just my apartment where I barely fit my work like my own closet but um where people can come and make appointments and shop and come hang out have some coffee <laughs> some frothed coffee some, uh, yeah some whipped coffee, whipped coffee? <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that was so great. You know, people can come shop and have some coffee. Some coffee? <laughs> I like that vision. I haven't really yeah. heard that vision before. Really? No. Yeah. Right? I, I don't. I mean, yeah, that's like a long term goal, but I just don't feel like I'm there yet right now. So. I feel that, but I mean, I have to say, and I've said this to you recently, you are so gosh damn well branded and marketable in your and like in your lane like in your niche which is like so hard to do and again it goes back to you just knowing who you are knowing what you want knowing what you like and i admire that so much about you because i i want to become more like that and it shows through your content it shows through anyone who knows who you are they know what you're about they they like you come with a certain aesthetic and a vibe and I've known that since I used to see you walk out of your apartment door barefoot and you were like this little fairy goddess walking in the woods all of a sudden like it's just <laughs> you and I am so excited for you know whatever whatever you're building towards right now whatever is brewing up inside of you in your subconscious psyche that one day will come to life and and including what what you do right now you know all your reels are so like consistent there's they have the same vibe they have they have you in all of them and uh, same with your youtube videos and yeah i just uh i mean you, you never know what's brewing during this whole time because like yeah. yeah maybe you you have that long off idea but um and then you have like your your immediate goals and you're like i think i'm going in that direction I'm not sure but i really do believe that like I really do believe that you have been consistent and 
you will continue to do so and it will lead to more and more unfolding and um <clears throat> not manifesting but actualizing those those visions so thank you congrats that's actually so sweet and it is, it is very motivating to hear mm, what's well, true because i mean i just have me and myself and my brain where i'm like Ugh, i think i'm okay like i think i'm doing everything that i'm supposed to or i could be doing more but then it's just i don't yeah like, i'm very like, private i think when it comes to like my moves and my goals and my career so it's nice to talk about it and mm. like get someone else's like input yeah thank yeah, you absolutely yeah that's how i felt when you said i was creative um <laughs> i start crying again okay uh let's see la, la, wait la, what about you oh what was the question goals goals for this year <laughs> okay well i have started acting on my goals already um which is uh heal my gut and oh my friend made me write down my goals where okay i have to show you this piece of paper my friend. So there was this one night in November where he was like, hey, I have these questions that we should write down together and answer. I know you and JC have done very similar stuff. And um, he, the questions he asked were like, what makes you the most happy? What are some things you've done this year that made you feel alive? What does your financial gain provide you with that you are most excited about? Why do you want to... What, why do you do what you do for work and why work? Um, what do you want to keep doing with your life? Which I would say is closely to closely related to this question. So what do you want to do? What do you want to keep doing with your life? I want to keep healing my body. So I've been doing that. My, Important. Yes. Yeah. My, my stomach issues have for the most part subsided. My acid reflux has for the most part subsided. My brain fog is almost gone, and um, it's pretty much gone. Um, there's bad habits that I've been eradicating, um, and so I'm proud of that. I want to make and perform music once my sinuses are... Like, I still can't really sing all the way, so that's a goal of mine, to make and perform music this year. And uh, oh, I was going to say something else, but it was too much of a tangent. And then... <laughs> I want to keep, I want to make content. And so I'm back to posting YouTube videos weekly. I'm back to streaming. Um, and I want to grow closer to my friend. <laughs> and then I want to become a more organized, disciplined, and hardworking human. Wow. So um, that's not, that's not super measurable way to say that, but yeah, I, I think one way to say that would be like, I want to wake up at the same time every day at, a, at an early hour, like six or seven, which, which I have been doing and hopping up out of bed, put my bed against the wall and just getting going, baby. Wow. How do you do that? Do you go to bed early the night before? Do you, wh how? Well, what time do you normally go to bed? Oh my God, right now I'm going to bed really late. Uh, I would say maybe 1 a.m. Yeah. Well, do you want to get up earlier? Yeah, I do. I um, since the time changed, I've been waking up like nine thirty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would love to be waking up seven, like seven, seven thirty latest. It feels so good, and it's such a confidence booster. And you like knock out a few tasks like first thing in the day, and you're just like, oh my god, like I'm a winner. Um, but I'd say how I started waking up earlier again was first like my mind got more right <laughs> and I got excited about life and work again and I stopped smoking so much weed <laughs> and I when I get into my me when I'm in my body and I'm here I am so excited about life and I just get start getting attacked with ideas that the second I wake up even if it's at 4 30 in the morning I'm like I can't go back to sleep because I'm like oh my god we got to get going <laughs> so even if I went to bed at one o'clock the night before I can't go back to sleep. I get up at 4.30. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to bite the bullet today and like have some lack of sleep. This is what works for me. I won't necessarily yeah, yeah, recommend yeah, totally. it. But then that night, 8 p.m. comes and you're like, or 5 p.m. comes, you're like, I'm tired and I and like don't have caffeine and let yourself go to bed a little bit earlier that night. And then you wake up earlier. And then hopefully you stay in that uh, rhythm. Yeah. So that's kind of how mine switched. 
Yeah, I like that. I definitely some things have popped up like while you were saying that that I need to do in my space to feel like excited and clear minded mm. because I feel like your your space affects so much and I feel like I just need to physically cleanse and take things out of my room and move my room around for me to feel like honestly excited I feel like it mm -hmm. again it affects so much and I need to get rid of so many things off my walls and once I do that I'll feel more like oh my god I can go to bed at 8 p.m. in my beautiful room you know because mm -hmm. right now I'm like oh my room is the an ick right now <laughs> <laughs> do you ever go to like a coffee shop and work and stuff no that's a big one because for me when I get out of the house and I go work somewhere else, I realize how hard it is to work from home. Like working yeah. from home is kind of hard mentally because you're just like at home all day, Yeah. you know? Yeah. But then you leave and then you come back. And you're like, okay, now it's time to just like get ready for I bed. I need to do that. I'm putting that in my calendar. Changing scenery is huge, y'all. We, we like, if you go on a walk in the morning, which if you don't, you should if you're able, Go on a walk in the morning, great. Do the same walk for a week. And then after a week, switch it up. Do like do it backwards or like do a different little route. Like just give your brain some new stimuli because I believe that will help you be more creative and more like, oh, like there's constantly new things coming up in life and, and time is going by and it's okay and I'm happy about it. Yeah. New music. Yeah. Okay, let's Very just do true. maybe like two more. Is that cool? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, do you want to pick one? Sure. Okay, buena suerte, mi amiga. By the way, Chelsea is very suerte. She, yes, I... Suertuda? <laughs> suertuda. Suertuda. Uh -huh. Chelsea es muy suertuda. <laughs> um, ¿Por qué dices eso? Porque ganaste la lotería. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, I play lotería with my family every weekend and um okay i didn't really win big this past weekend <laughs> oh, but the shit. weekend before i started with maybe three dollars and i left that night with like 20 30 dollars what yeah okay necesitamos jugar aquí we do oh my god wait do you want to go find a loteria si. or maybe i can order it on amazon and then see si. Oh my god, yes. Um, oh, podemos jugar con mi amigo. <laughs> sí, sí. No, you guys, having cash and change on you is, I don't know. It's empowering. Just, it's empowering. It's such a great feeling because we would go to the store and I would pay with cash, an exact change. And I'd be like, hold on, hold on. I have 47 cents. And I would take my coin bag and like count 47 cents. And I don't know. So satisfying. It's the little things, you know. <laughs> it's so analog. It's so tactile it's like literally right there it's real it's not just like swipe there goes like a number and it's somewhere out there yeah i just feel like back when i was little and i would pay you know with my grandma and my mom we would just pay cash like just scratch coins yeah um yeah i'm with yeah. that okay let's see sorry Brittany has played lotteria since since they were a kid that's awesome v yes, valeria same. too Julie, Julie, it's like a game that you play with your friends or your family. And oh, NASA answered. It's a Mexican bingo. Mexican bingo. Oh, yeah. actually, I didn't even know that. You have to get, you have to get like four in a row to win. But it's a deck of cards, and it's just random, uh, random like cards, hmm. like instruments in Spanish or fruits in Spanish, and you have to put a coin on over it if you have it on your card we mm -hmm. play with two cards each time it's just so fun yeah and we my family gets really competitive um yeah well i want to play one day well i'm gonna order it on amazon mm. today si sí, hablo más español que todos mis amigos en esta casa gracias jessica what do you think of insurance what's your favorite mm, memory together insurance. Ooh. Okay, let me think. Wait, can we open up the muffin? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Last question. Might as well do the muffin. 
Yeah. Wait, yeah. you said two more questions. Oh yeah, you're right. Or do you want to do just one more? No, I'm not. I'm down for two more. Um. Okay. Let me think. Favorite memoria juntos. There's so many good ones. It's hard to pick a favorite. Um. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll say two, because I have you know like one fun one, and then one um. Like more meaningful one. So my my fun one. I I really enjoyed when I surprised you for your birthday. And I changed my flight to make it to her birthday. That was so cute. And like you had seen me before I surprised you, but I was like still hiding behind my flowers. So you're like <laughs> you're like, hi. <laughs> And there's a video of it, and uh, that was really sweet to me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for doing that. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't miss it. And and yeah, that was one of those nights. One of those really good nights. Um, and then my meaningful, my meaningful memory is in 2018 when I had my heart broken, and then we went to Trader Joe's, and then like before we went into Trader Joe's, I just cried with you and just like talked about it for a second you know even though we had talked about it before it was just like this is so heavy on me right now i just need to say like i don't know what exactly what i said but like i miss him so much and it hurts so bad right now and just like cried out for a second and you know you're just there with me and let it out and then i'm able to go on with my day and eventually go on with my life so those are two of my favorites. Trader Joe's is our spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love TJ's. We do. Thank you, TJ. <laughs> what is what's your favorite memory with us? Beat that. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to regret being answering this one second. <laughs> um, so one of my favorite memories, we have way too many, right? Mm -hmm. And I have such a bad memory. Yeah, we need to stop. But, no, no, no. But... Recently, Brian and I spent a whole day together, mm. and it was actually one of my favorite days recently, which really? was last week. Yeah, we went to went to an event in the morning, and then he went to go film for Cam Boys, and then I went to meet up with some friends, and then we met back up later in the evening, and we took a walk, like a long walk with Charlie and my roommate, and that was just really nice. And then we went to a second event really quick. And then we went to this like divey bar restaurant and just like caught up. And then we went to a comedy show like super spontaneously. And we just spent the whole day together and it was just so chill. But yeah, it was it was just really nice because we hadn't done something like that in a really long time. And I hadn't gone to a comedy show in a while. And it was just it was just really nice. And it was such a good day. You're right. That was that was really fun. Yeah. And and I love when you say like what you said about my birthday last year, like you love the pacing of it. Um, I and I feel like that's kind of what you're saying about that day too. Like just the the Oh the your whole day. Yeah. Like like the whole day just goes and yeah, you're kinda doing a lot, but it's like you're with someone you, you we're together and we're experiencing it all together and there's something kind of like centering about that. Well, also your birthday last year was such a great time also because it was the same thing. We met up for breakfast in Malibu. We went to the beach and we went swimming for a little bit. And then we went home, did our own thing. And then we came back here and had like beef free night. And it just flowed. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it was the pace of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love days, days like that. Yeah. 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 And that meant a lot to me too. Um... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. Um, okay. Oh, what are these? Oh, that raises and lowers the desk, but it's not on right now. Oh. Um, okay. So, let's see. Last question. Um, favorite memory together. Each other favorite food. I want to make this a good one. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do. I love that you have lo-fi just playing in the background. Yeah, I figured that would be a, the right vibe for this. Yeah. I don't know if they can hear it, but we can hear it. Also, sorry if my nose... Sorry if you hear me breathing through my nose. Um, Honestly, my I... my allergies are oh, really bad. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Wait, hold on. Can you hear me breathing? Sorry, I don't want to breathe all over your mic. <sighs> no. I can hear you breathing. I'm stuffy. Yeah. Are you good? Do you need yeah. anything? No. Is anyone else's allergies really bad? It's going to be bad this year. Um. Okay. Yeah. What were you saying? Well, I was kind of thinking that was a, actually a really good question to end on. Okay. Now that. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, I. Yeah. That was, I don't know, meaningful. Yeah. To me. <laughs> me too? Maybe. A, question mark? Wait. <laughs> wait. Okay, we'll, we'll do. We'll end on a f one fun one because I actually did see one that I liked in the chat. Okay. If you switched bodies for a day, what would you do? Us, we switch bodies. If I switch bodies with you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what would I? I do? think that's a good one. That's a good fun one to end on. Um. Good one, Jory. I don't know what I would do. Would you like put on a speedo? <laughs> Take off your shirt, run around. I would go to the beach and go swimming because my body can't really do that in my body. So I feel like it would be so much easier to go in your body mm. and just be free in the water. Mm. Be a little fishy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a yeah. good one. Maybe like... God, I would be very curious like about your sex life. So like <laughs> I would probably... Go have sex. <laughs> oh my god, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Why not? Do it. <laughs> Let's switch. <laughs> you gotta try this. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just curious. Yeah. Well, Don't act like you guys are not curious. I mean, everyone's curious about each other. It's hard not <laughs> like that's where all like looking at it, like that is i mean that's what that question was really asking okay that's Let's, what they wanted us to say yeah way to get to the bottom of it yeah we're not afraid okay <laughs> i'm not afraid okay first thing i would do with chelsea i would have sex no i'm just kidding <laughs> no i would okay if i was chelsea if i was in chelsea's body i would probably like put on a really cute outfit <laughs> and like i don't know just go somewhere where i would be seen <laughs> And just get attention. And just let everyone adore me. <laughs> like, just like looking around, like so, like boldly and beautifully, with this hair coming down, and like, I'd probably wear that exact top, like right here, <laughs> and I would just walk down, like I don't know, that like Abbott Kinney. I would just, I don't know. I would go into all the shops. I'd talk to everyone. I'd make eye contact and smile and see how they like get taken back. That's what make I, people feel uncomfortable. No, no, make people feel enchanted. <laughs> that's what you do. Oh, that's so good. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's that is, a, and then I would take a billion selfies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do that now? Um. Because I don't look like you. <laughs> but you look like you. True. My friend said I was glowing today, so. You are. I'll take it. Thank you. Wow, you look great. Thank you. It's it's um the chicken, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I've i been working out more again, so that feels good. You know? Wait, how long was your break off of YouTube? Um, whoa, stomach drop with the word break. Um, I don't know, like three... I don't know, probably at least three months. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to be in front of the camera. Yeah. And and if there's one thing I don't want to do when I do this job is be fake. Like, yes, I'm going to have a lot of energy when I'm on camera and I'm going to, like, you know, be engaging and everything like that. Especially, you know, I don't know, like, you're making content. You, you want it to be watchable. But there's also times where I'm like, you know, I just want to like talk normally. That's why I really want to do more podcasting. That's why I like doing this. Um, but it was to the point where I just like, 
I didn't, I didn't know who I was at all. My brain was like kind of scrambled for a while. And so hopping in front of the camera just felt like I was trying to act like myself instead of just be myself. Mm. And now that I'm not so disassociated and I'm back in my body and I've had some wake up calls and, um, I've done some practices. We cleansed my room. You know, I'm like going to yoga. I'm working out. I'm reading books. I'm going to bed earlier. I'm like setting goals and all this, that kind of stuff. Being my, acting like myself more. I am being myself more. I'm like, okay, now I'm ready to, you know, do be free, like lead a community or be on camera. And what I put out there is exactly how I'm feeling and, and who I am. Mm -hmm. So... It was a long, it was a long break. You know, I still was kind of doing other stuff. I was trying to like, you know, do the best I could to make what I could. But yeah, I, I had to get to this point before I could really start running again. Yeah. Because I, I never want to be inauthentic. Yeah. So, yeah. I like that. That's important. Well, cheers. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. Thanks for asking me. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. It's felt like a podcast. Yeah. And it it's exciting to me because, you know, I've used these microphones a few times, but usually it's been like doing an activity. So to just be able to just kind of chat and like answer questions and stuff and like really, really does feel like a podcast. So yeah, thank you. I love that feeling. I love you. So I love you too. And I love you chat. Thank y'all so much for being here. Um, shout out to everyone here, please. W in the chat for Chelsea. Chelsea came through today. She uh, is a wonderful person. She's a great friend. She's gorgeous. She works hard. She knows who she is. She's uh, also very creative. She um, makes really good reels. She <laughs> <laughs> loves her dog, Thank Charlie, you. and um, is just an amazing person. And I've been so lucky to be friends with you for seven years, I almost. Love I love you too. And um, let's go for another seven. Let's do it. Make All right. It 14. Yeah. 14. Oh, my God. That's weird to think about. <laughs> I know. Okay. We'll be friends for 14 years and then we'll call it quits. <laughs> okay. Cheers, everybody. Sending y'all love. Thank you for coming. Oh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. I will have Will here and we are going to do breakfast in bleach. We're both getting our hair dyed and I'm going to make some yummy breakfast. So come through. See you there. Watch my YouTube videos. You got anything to say? Um, it sounds yummy. Um, and go watch her reels because they're amazing. <laughs> and her vlogs. She's been vlogging too. Okay. okay. Go vlog I'll her over back. here. I'll be back. I'll be back on YouTube, I promise. But yes, go check out my videos if you haven't. Uh, yeah. Cheers.